How many times have you felt like you have done absolutely everything that you can do to see some results, to see something different, and nothing happens, right? How many times have you felt so frustrated with not seeing the right results here? You're like, I'm eating clean, I'm exercising regularly, I'm taking some good supplements. Why am I not seeing things happen for my physical body? What is wrong, right? I am Dr. Beth Westy. I'm, gonna, I'm a women's health and hormone expert. I'm going to dive into um, how do I know that this will work? How do I know that trying something else is going to work for me? This can be a huge hesitation for a lot of people because you've done so many things. You feel like, yeah, this isn't my first rodeo with stuff. What, you're going to tell me to eat chicken at a different time of day than another plan? Ooh, ooh, how fancy, how wonderful. No, it's not about the chicken, right? It's not about that specifically. It's about finding what's going to work for you specifically. So one of the things that I'm going to talk about here um, is when we go through your hormone report. So I do Dutch testing. Um, this is a sample of the Dutch test. It is very extensive. It is six pages long and we go through this entire thing in detail with you. It takes an hour. It takes about an hour. Hi, Terry. Um, and when we look at this, one of the things to realize is that oftentimes it is not just about what you're doing, right? And if you're like, oh, I don't even know if this is going to work for me. What else is, what else is there? This is what else there is to look at what your system is doing specifically. Yeah. So I'm going to put a link here in the comments for you to get on my wait list for the next female hormone solution program, because, um, you get your own Dutch test in this program. Um, we go over it, you get customized recommendations and we go through a lot of things. I'm going to share a couple of stories today um, after I go through this list here and talk about some specific things um, to really focus on differently for you because I went through some uh, reports today just some very different things that popped up on people's reports um, so it's it's really helpful to see and to look at your body from like a big picture view a big picture view so a lot of times people are like I'm already eating clean I'm already eating clean, so what else is there for me? I can't eat cleaner. I've already done paleo. I've already done keto. I've already done Weight Watchers. I've already done this, 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 and this, right? How do I know that eating a different way is going to work for me? Well, in the female hormone, sorry, that's, have you heard that squeak? <laughs> I sit on a physio ball, and normally I have a blanket on it, so it doesn't make that squeaky noise, but I don't, so I made a fun squeaky noise. Okay. Okay, back to eating clean. <laughs> back to eating clean. Um, if you're already eating clean, that's great, but oftentimes that's not enough. You need to know that you're getting enough nutrients. So what we take you through are things like getting enough protein, protein pacing, uh, making sure you're eating for your hormones. We take you through different intermittent fasting schedules for the female body specifically, um, take you through different carb cycling things. And these are all done in a pattern together. What I have created, this Female Hormone Solution program, is unlike anything else out there. It's built specifically for the female body, and it's built for how our systems react differently to stress, how our hormones shift and change throughout the month, everything. So just eating clean, it's not that that's bad. It's oftentimes not enough, or it's not addressing what your system needs. Regular exercise. Great. Movement is great. Movement is great. But if we go over your adrenal report... This is your adrenals right there. It tells us exactly how they're functioning. And if you have adrenal fatigue or your adrenals are not functioning correctly, exercise is actually going to be more overwhelming. So you need to have the right exercise for your stress levels. There are times where I've told people you have to take a break or you can only go for a 30 minute walk or you can only do 20 minutes of yoga every day until these certain things improve. Then we know your cortisol levels are improving and you can step into different workouts. Otherwise, you're working against yourself here, right? So again, how do I know this is going to work? These things are shifted specifically for you and your body. They're not just some random template out there. They're, spe they're specific to you and what your system needs. Same thing for supplements. Supplements are great. It's really helpful to, you know, fill the gaps in what you would need. And if your system has a hard time, hormone balancing, detoxing, methylation, things like that. Um, it's important to get good supplements in. But you can take the basics, great, but you'll also need to address the deficiencies. Um, and you need to address anything that your system needs to go through. So there was a report that I went over today that I wanted to share this story with you because it's really, as much as I would love it to not be common, it is more common. Um, this gal, 
really smart gal, right? Smart, has done research, has done all this stuff on her own, but has done it on her own for like the past five years. A long time to be navigating her own health issues. Lyme disease, mold, ugh, right? These are major, major health issues that can flare up in your system from a lot of different things. And when we talked about some stuff and what's, what's interesting is that she shared some of the things with me right at the beginning because I go through a health history. And as we went through some of her reporters, she was talking about some of her symptoms. I was like, you know, there's something else that I want to get into. And, and what I'm seeing here with your report, there's something missing. There's something else going on upstream. Meaning if we don't correct what's upstream, we can work with these things here, these symptoms that you're having, the hormone irregularity, the hot flashes, all this other stuff that's going on right here. And that can be great. But if we don't work on what's up here, it's not actually going to get better and stay better. That's a huge difference. That's a huge, huge difference. And I said, I can tell from what I'm looking at in your report that there's something else going on. And she goes, and I said, listen, some of the symptoms you're talking about come from a mold toxicity. Have you ever had that? And she's like, well, funny you should say that. I went through this and we moved a few years ago and this and this and this, and this was all different. And, and I was like, okay, so we need to revisit this. Or did you ever take care of this in the first place? And she's like, well, I thought I did. And it's like, there's specific things we have to do. Without taking care of that, things like mold or Lyme or all these other things, they can mess up your hormones. They can cause you more anxiety. They can mess up your sleep patterns because it, it's like it makes your brain on fire. They can cause other neurological symptoms, sometimes aches, sometimes pain, sometimes tingling in the skin in different areas that like is random. Um, hive reactions, skin reactions, you know, psoriasis, eczema, where you're like, I didn't have this before. Yeah. So how is this related to the Dutch test? It's because of what I see there. It tells me how your body's functioning and what else we need to target and what else we need to look at for you. Otherwise, we're missing the big picture. We have to look at your body as a whole. We have to look at your system as a whole and address all of these things because it's not just about these things, right? It's about finding out where your body is really at and what it really needs to get to the healthiest place possible. So um, if you uh, have had an experience with this, or if you're like, oh my gosh, yes, I got labs done. Cause again, the, one of the tests I went through today, this gal, she was like, oh yeah, I got labs drawn. And they said all this stuff was normal. And I was like, well, we're going to need to see more extensive panel for your thyroid and a, you know, a deeper panel on your blood work because there's some major things going on here. Um, and this is not normal. So sometimes it's a deeper dive, but by looking at this stuff, it really gives you the right direction. So I would love for you to comment if you're like, oh my gosh, that sounds like me. I feel like I've had something else going on. I don't know what it is. I don't know where to start. This is where we start. We start looking at what your system needs specifically and we go from there. Um, other things and resources I have for you, my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon talking all about, all about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle for hormone regulation and everything. I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution. And then my YouTube channel is just called Dr. Beth Westy, where you can subscribe to stay updated on everything. And then I also have some really fun things with all the stress that people are having nowadays. I specially formulated Adrenal Balance. This is a specific supplement that is designed to help the female body balance your stress levels and your um, help balance out your adrenals. Mm -hmm. And then there's also one for metabolism. Now for some gals, I don't recommend starting off with something like this. It's something we phase in, depending on you know, where some of your levels are at. But these are some amazing additions to add in along with the tinctures I have for your hormones for estrogen and progesterone to really make sure your system is getting what it needs. And the super fun thing about these, because I had somebody ask me this, these taste good. They are made, um, yeah, they're not made with alcohol. They're alcohol free, so they're not disgusting. <laughs> My favorite thing about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if there's any other questions or if you want me to do a deep dive on something I've mentioned, you can put that in the comments too. I get questions from women every single day all over the world asking about things and the videos I do are created off of the questions that you have. So please drop me a comment with a question and I'd be more than happy to address it for you. All right. Have a great night.